After reading the statement of President Russell M. Nelson, I decided I needed to follow his example and make my thoughts known. I join with many throughout this nation around the world who are deeply saddened at recent evidences of racism and blatant disregard for human life. I abhor the reality that some would deny others respect and the most basic of freedoms because of the color of his or her skin. I am sad when these assaults on human dignity lead to escalating violence and unrest. The creator of us all calls, calls on each of us to abandon attitudes of prejudice against any group of God's children. Any of us who has prejudice towards another race needs to repent. During the Savior's earthly mission, he consistently ministered to those who were excluded, marginalized, judged, overlooked, abused, and discounted. As I am a follower of Jesus Christ, can I do anything less? The answer is no. Believe, I believe in freedom, kindness, and fairness for all of God's children. I believe we are brothers and sisters, each of us the child of a loving God, and he is our Father in heaven. His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, invites all to come unto him, whether they be black and white, Jew and Gentile, bond and free, male and female. It is imperative that each of us do whatever we can in our spheres of influence to preserve the dignity and respect every son and daughter of God deserves. Any nation can only be as great as its people. This requires citizens to cultivate a moral compass that helps them distinguish between right and wrong. Illegal acts such as looting, defacing, or destroying public or private property cannot be tolerated. Never has one wrong been corrected by a second wrong. Evil has never been resolved by more evil. I need to foster my faith and help others to believe and act with the knowledge that everyone is a beloved son and daughter of God and in the brotherhood of man. I need to foster a fundamental respect for the human dignity of every human soul, regardless of their color, creed, or cause. I need to work tirelessly to build bridges of understanding rather than creating walls of segregation. I will work together with others for peace, for mutual respect, and for an outpouring of love for all of God's children. This is what I strive for. I freely admit I do not always meet my goal, but I know with the Spirit of God all things are possible.